then hello peeps this is going to be a quick and hopefully easy to follow guide on setting up some awesome new software I found called free track uh, it's version 2.1 and it's basically a free alternative to using a track IR system which are famously expensive and famously fragile um, this actually got recommended to me by a friend on the Daisy forums called Headstain cheers Headstain and I tried it out last night and I'm genuinely really impressed by how well it's working Basically what it allows you to do is translate your natural head movement in the real world into movement in game. Um, this, in this example I'm using Arma 3 because I've been playing that a lot recently. Um, it'll work in Daisy and it'll work in race simulators, other flight sims, so on and so forth. Uh, when I say it's free, it's important to note that software is free. You need two things to get it working well. You need a webcam, any webcam will do literally. Mine is called what's it called a trust something blah 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 it basically costs six dollars off of ebay and it's working pretty flawlessly um, and the second thing you need is a point of reference so that webcam is going to track now i've read through the handbook the forums regarding uh, all the best advice and the best advice seems to be that it needs to track an led so an led light source um, that's what i'm using and i'll show you how to set it up right now now the first thing you need to do is go to the forums, um, I'll put a link in the description below um, and download it from the menu on the left, uh, it's a really small file, download in less than 5 minutes obviously depending on your connection speed and then you just run the exe and off you go, it'll, it'll install and then you're ready, there's loads of little useful bits of information all over the website including a handbook which I've had a really good read through, there's some loads of great info on there um, and if you do give it a go I recommend having a read through yourself although hopefully this guide will save you having to look too far into it. Okay so once you've downloaded, installed and run the software this is what it's going to take you to. You've just got a simple window uh, with lots of different options for tweaking and getting it set up to your liking within different games. There's loads of preloaded games there. I've added Armour 3 as a profile because that's primarily what I've been testing it out, out in. Um, and you can go into quite a lot of depth with it but to get it essentially working and working well there's only a very few things you need to know which is some basic key bindings there. I've got Shift and F12 uh, that will start it running in game um, so I'll be playing Armour 3 I want it to start tracking my head movement I'll just press Shift and F12 and if for whatever reason you lose uh, the centre position you'd lean over to answer the phone so on and so forth you just press the down key or well, that's what I've chosen anyway and it will recenter it for you uh, it's nice and simple now if you go over here this is where the important bit and where I spent about two hours yesterday evening messing around in here thinking it was a lost cause and it was never going to work for me if you look at that red dot there that is the LED on top of my headset that it's trying to track at the moment and it's trying to convert that into movement in the window on the left which is my that's basically mimicking a first person view from within a game and you can see it's really badly it's laggy it's not tracking dot very well as I move my head around um, I've got a feeling a lot of people get to this point and give up um, basically thinking their computer can't hack it or they're just never going to be able to get to grips with it um, you need to get it so you've got a smooth frame rate and so that it's tracking the light constantly. You can see when it's over on the screen on the right there, you can see it flickering on and off where it's, it's occasionally grabbing the light, tracking it and then losing it. Um, and it can get very frustrating. Also, it's running at three frames per second, which is appalling, unacceptable, and it's never gonna work in a game. Um, but after a few hours of faffing around and nearly giving up with it, I figured out the key to getting it set up right and suddenly it just started running super smoothly and it was a revelation so I'm gonna show you the two key things you need to do to get that working 
Now it's basically a case of getting a nice balance between the exposure setting for the camera and the threshold for the lighting overall. Um, I mean, I spent hours yesterday faffing around with different settings and it seems to me that it boils down to essentially the exposure and the threshold settings. You obviously want a really high contrast um, and a dark room ideally. That just allows the camera itself to pick out the red dot as you can see there. Um, now that's actually fairly straightforward. Obviously if you're in a dark room and you've got a bright light source the camera is going to find it very easy to pick out. But the key to getting it to tracking this dot really nicely and smoothly as you'll need it to if you want to use it well in a game is to get that exposure um, and the threshold balanced between the two of them. So if I adjust the exposure and bring it all the way down you'll see it loses the light source but I can come back and adjust the threshold. Now although I've lost the light source you can see the frame rate's gone up. So let me just quickly apply that setting, go to the threshold and then it's just a case of tweaking until it starts picking up the light source again. I'll go back to the camera, just tweak the exposure and there you go. You can, it's just like you see, it's just a case of tweaking one, tweaking the other and then you'll see it's now picking up the light but it's, the movement already is much smoother. Now you can see down at the bottom it's got 30 frames per second. Now that it's going to max at that because the setting I've chosen for my web camera. Um, but in game, if you're running a good rig, it'll actually run a lot faster than that um, due to some fancy technical interpolation things that I don't understand at all. Um, now you can actually mess with this a lot more. I'm going to leave it at that because that's how I've been using it in armor and you can see that that's nice smooth movement as I'm moving my head around uh, let me just show you, you can see from the top I move it left and right it's basically, there's no delay as I move my head it's recording it and that's, that's how it's going to work in game which I'm really happy with now obviously you can keep tweaking as much as you like um, you're going to need to adjust it to your liking within the game itself it's really easy to do um, and the main things I wanted to show you was how easy it is to install, how easy it is to tweak and adjust to get it picking up on your light source and how cheap it is compared to Track IR. I hope I've encouraged you to at least give it a try. If I have, um, let me know how you get on and if you've got any questions I'll do my best to answer them. Bearing in mind I'm a bit of a noob with it myself but I'll definitely give it a go. Cheers for watching.